everyone! I'm Gigi from Strawberry Sensor. So today we're going to be talking about boobs. So as you may know, a lot of anime and game characters are notoriously known for having giant, gravity-defying boobs. To name a few. Those are some wild boob physics. I just... I don't know if you guys know this, but most natural breasts don't look like that. I mean, I guess if you're really, really lucky, uh, good for you by the way, but Normally, natural breasts have a natural sag to them, and that's okay. No one expects you to look like a real-life anime character anyway. But if you really want to have those opai for <laughs> costume accuracy, I think I may have found the item to do it. There are ways to fake it that doesn't involve surgery or, you know, getting one of those big silicone breastplates which are completely fine by the way, I'm not knocking anyone who uses it. But if you don't want to go with those options, let's explore some other options. Cosplay is an art. It's about bringing these fictional characters to life. And however you do it is up to you. Anyway, that's why I'm trying this out. No, these are not a pair of headphones if you're asking, although it does look like one. So this bra is supposed to keep your breasts squished in so you have great cleavage and then there are grips on it to keep them supported, all while being backless. This is the Mrs. Kisses Deep Plunge Bra. I reached out to the owner of Mrs. Kisses. Her name is Amanda. She is such a sweet person. She is super generous and she is gorgeous. She sent me so much information about how to get the perfect fit and she even offered me a Skype session if I was struggling. So for customer service, she gets a 10 out of 10. Thank you so much, Amanda. I'm really excited to try this. And one last thing to note, I asked her to do a collaboration and I am not paid to give any positive reviews. Whatever I'm telling you today will be my honest review. I am so super excited about this item because this may be the answers to all of our booby problems when we're cosplaying things like, you know, Bride Nero or Morgan from Darkstalkers. I borrowed this Sheila cosplay from Boomy. You can look at how awesome she looks in it here and follow her on social media. But I borrowed this from her because I currently don't have any cosplay on hand that is low plunging. Also, an important thing to note is I am making this video with the intention of doing a bra review in the hopes that cosplayers can find a tool that will help them achieve those gravity-defying proportions. So if you're gonna go on here to be a pervert, come on, man. There are so many other things that you can watch that are free online. So take that somewhere else. So I'm going to give you some background information just for your reference. So I am currently at 32 double D in American sizes. My bra size does fluctuate depending on how much I weigh. If I weigh less, then they are smaller. If I weigh more, then they are bigger. That's why I keep a large variety of different bra sizes in my drawer and I never throw them away because one day I might need it. So I don't have breast implants of any kind, it's 100% okay if you do. That's just for your reference though because I think this product does work better on, um, I guess you would say rounder breasts versus anything that, that has a slope. Moving on. So Mrs. Kisses does give you a lot of instructional videos on how to put on the bra. So you get this item and you can adjust it. And like I mentioned before, for someone like me that fluctuates in bra size all the time, this is really, really nice because if I get smaller, just push it in. And if I get bigger, just pull it out. And I really don't know how she was able to pull it in and out so easily because this is actually pretty tough to pull in and out. Um, but after you set it, it's definitely not going to move. Amanda, you are really strong. So this claims to fit size A through G. She also instructs to put one boob at a time with the logo on the right. So it should be this way, not this way. <laughs> she also gives you volumizing pads that you can put on. I do recommend using these just because when your chest is being squished in like this, there's going to be a gap of empty space. So you would need these to fill them out. So you stick the adhesive on one side, the other side will be a silicone grip. The silicone grip is not sticky. Also, these cups are labeled with left and right, so you will never get confused on how to put them on. The angle of the cups to better fit your garment. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. <sighs> okay, I'm back. Not gonna lie, this product did give me a little bit of trouble, but it is to be expected. This is a highly customizable type of bra. It does take a while for you to find your right fit and the right angles that you want everything to to sit. When using this product, there is a learning curve. You're gonna have to spend 
like a good amount of time figuring out what fit is best for you. But after you kind of figure it out, you'll be able to just pop it in and out and it'll be pretty easy. So does it work? Yes, it does work. I think they look a lot rounder, perkier, pushed up. And the crazy thing is, is I'm not wearing any straps. That is insane. Um, the only issue that I might have with this is one, you could kind of see the cups sometimes. So depending on how you place the cups, they might pop out, they might be visible, something to note. I have one other problem with this. The plunge does not go down all the way. So whatever garment or cosplay you're wearing this with, you have to make sure that the plunge is not longer than what this band is. In terms of comfort, I would say it's a 7 out of 10. Maybe if you wear it for a couple of hours, it'll progressively get more uncomfortable. I would say maybe like a 6 or 5 out of 10. But since when are we ever comfortable in cosplay anyway? And I've been in situations where I had to tape my boobs up, do some crazy things to them that weren't super comfortable. So ideally this is something that you can wear for a couple of hours, but it might get uncomfortable throughout the day. Also, this would be a great option for you if you're planning to use this for a photo shoot and you have the option of photoshopping this little band out. Another thing to notice, if you bend, oh, if you bend, this might stick out. So you have to be careful with your posing as well. I've watched a couple of other review videos as well and this item seems to work well for people who have, I would say, rounder, perkier breasts. If you have a lot of, you know, natural breast sagging and your breast is more of like a U shape um, and they're very, very large, this might not be the item for you. There's only a certain amount of surface area that it could cover and if you imagine a giant ball and just a little bit of pressure it's not going to be able to shape it to the correct size, so that's something to keep in mind. If you have naturally perky breasts, then this item probably would work really, really well for you. Or if you have breast implants. My final thoughts. Would I purchase this item or would I recommend it to others? This item does retail for $94 right now. Um, originally it's $125, so I don't know if they're having a sale or some sort of a deal. So is this worth the money? Yes, if you are a cosplayer. This is something that I would save up the money for. If she didn't want to work with me, I probably would have spent my own money and bought this item myself. Also keep in mind, this is not the most comfortable item to wear out in public. However, as a cosplayer, I think you're pretty used to not being comfortable in public. This is a great item to wear for a couple of hours to give you that nice rounded shape and lifted look. Is this the type of bra that you want to wear all day every day? Uh, maybe not. but. As a cosplayer, this item has helped me tremendously. As y'all know, those anime boob physics are unrealistic as <laughs> Alright. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And comment down below, would you ever use something like this in your cosplay? And lastly, subscribe to our channel here on Strawberry Sensor. Uh, we post videos <laughs> whenever we feel like it. Um, yeah. But anyway, if you want to watch my other YouTube stuff, me as a normal human, Go to here. I am Esther Jack and at the end. Okay. Bye guys.